What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another AEW Unrivaled pack review on the brand new AEW Unrivaled Collection action pack. And I think this is our second action pack, right? We had the one with the barbed wire set from the match with Kenny Omega and Jon Moxley. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a beautiful set that features some brand new molds from Jazzwares and AEW. Stuff we have not seen just yet. We have a brand new barrel accessory that I'm excited for. And now I'm just suddenly craving Cracker Barrel. But I'm not going to go there because if anybody goes to Cracker Barrel, you already know that their service is literally dog shit. I don't know. Maybe it's just the location by me, man. I used to love Cracker Barrel as a kid. It was one of my favorite restaurants. I know we've kind of swerved off the old rotten trail there. But Jesus Christ, every time I go there, they take forever. They take absolutely forever. It, it Like, if you go there and say they seat you immediately, it will be 40 minutes until the food hits the table. That is absolutely a fact. But if you guys want to pick this set up and you want a Cracker Barrel, go over to Ringside Collective. WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. This pack is looking pretty damn magnificent. I like the way it looks. I like the way, you know, everything looks with it. I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's a fantastic pack. I'm excited to add more weapons to the collection. I need to get off my lazy bum and go get some pick feds done using some of these weapons. But I love these packs, man. These packs are what makes collecting very fun. You know, it really adds to your setups, your displays, your, your creativity, your photography, your pick fedding, your stop motion, just even your hand-to-hand -hand action figure matches, man. This stuff is what makes collecting fun, bringing those fantasy matches to life with the weapons and stuff. But, but diving into the pack, man, you guys can see it has action pack up here, AEW over there, Unrivaled Collection down there. You guys can see the sporadica of weapons going on right here. On the side, you don't get much. It says action pack. On the other side, same deal, action pack down here. On the back, you get a beautiful Canadian Destroyer from Penta 2, I believe it was, Matt Jackson, off the ladder through the table. And it's just so sick. It's, it's very sick. We need bucks in this gear, by the way. But it looks great. We do get some of these accessories. I wish it had like a little bit more contents on the back of the packaging, but I am enjoying what we got right here, man. But that pretty much does it for our packaging of this AEW Unravel Collection action pack. So with all those things being said, man, let's crack this stuff out of the packaging and find out what we got. Alright guys, so here is the AEW Unrivaled Collection Action Pack out of the packaging. Now, I can't remember if the other one had a different name, but I think it's weird to have, like, there's not, like, a series number on it. There's not a specific about it. I feel like they need to have specific names for it just so you can differentiate the two. Like, maybe name them by pay-per-view or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. However, we're gonna dive into the contents. You guys can see here you get a cracker barrel. You get a regular barrel. I don't know why I keep calling it a cracker barrel. That's just funny. You have a folding table, a sledgehammer, a steel chair, and a ladder. And we're gonna take a look at all these things, kind of scale them with figures, see how they fit in the hand, do all those different things. But let's go ahead and start off with the main accessory. I think the one that probably stands out the most to everybody is going to be the barrel. And the barrel accessory is pretty nice. You guys can see all the different sculpted detail throughout. It's got like its own like cracks and dents in it. My only complaint that like comes to me right off is just the mere size of it. I feel like it's a bit oversized. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Here's a Kenny Omega figure. You guys can see there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just like the the girth of it or the width of it but I don't think all barrels are the same you know I don't I don't think all of them are the exact same size or anything like that it kind of varies here but I don't know like it there's enough room to stand on it I don't think they could like pick it up unless you totally rigged it up like I, I don't know how you would possibly do that you'd have to put some sticky tack on the back and kind of manage that as he walks with it you're not going to be able to like you know grab it on the sides right here or if you do it's going to be very difficult let's see if I can make that happen for you so it does grip the sides right there you can actually gripped the side there but it doesn't hold on to it quite like you may like it to but well, you know you can grip it right there and then grip it right there yeah it's it's very difficult and then once you get it clipped the the weight's gonna pull him forward so not the best in that category but you know you can lay it down and then have people crash on it which we will do here in a moment but if you guys didn't know there you go it does break off into three pieces And so your barrel comes in three pieces and then you just gotta piece it together like the Millennium Puzzle and go send fools to the Shadow Realm. You just have to find the pieces that correspond with each other. You stick it together like so. There's like little pegs there that you, you know, you just kind of line up. It's pretty easy to put together. I, I, I you know, I, I don't think you're, you're gonna have like a, like a Hellraiser freaking cube of destruction type of deal with it, even though everybody was solving that thing. But there's the barrel. I like the barrel accessory. I don't think we've ever seen, is, is this the first wrestling figure barrel accessory we've ever seen? 
I feel like it is, but that's pretty cool. I like that we got a barrel accessory, very reminiscent. I think that was what, the Cracker Barrel Clash or something like that from All Out from a couple years ago. Joey Janela, Jimmy Havoc, Darby Allen. Am I mistaken? Something like that. I feel like they've used it at other occasions. That's just the one that comes to mind. We also have a steel chair accessory. Now, we've seen this with Pac. We've seen this. I want to say it was somebody else, but I feel like we, we got it with Pac. You got the folding chair. It has like a nice flat metal look to it. It looks like it is made of metal, so that's pretty cool. I like the sheen that they give this chair and stuff. If you guys want to put this in somebody's hands, here is Kenny Omega. You know, you just stick it right here. The best thing that I found is if you double it up, and you put both, you know, uh, legs of the chair in the hand, it grips a lot better than if you just do the one. But they still don't grip the chair that well, man. It's pretty difficult. You have to, like, kind of rig it up in order for it to grasp the chair. It just doesn't... It doesn't firmly grasp it. You know what I'm saying? It does not firmly grasp it. And that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty big bummer. Yeah, it just it doesn't firmly grasp it, man. And that's that's pretty disappointing. Maybe they can make like folding chair or weapon accessory holding hands. Like these are good mic holding hands, but they're not quite like weapon accessory holding hands. But the steel chair is very nice. It's got a nice sculpt to it, all those different things. This is the accessory that I'm not big on, and that's gonna be the sledgehammer accessory. You guys know that we did see this with series one Cody. Now the the figures do hold this pretty good you know like they they can hold it two-handed like that i think that looks good and everything i just feel like the head of the hammer is way too big right it's kind of like laughably laughably oversized reminds me of a lot of like a jack sledgehammer or something i feel like the mattel one's much more scale i feel like it's a lot more accurate but you do get a sledgehammer accessory and maybe you could use it for a different way instead of just the one that's accurate to television i just don't see that one as accurate you do have the nice brown color for the wood grain we also have a table accessory now this is our second table i think right we got one with the little bit of the bubbly chris J Jericho figure and I actually have that one back here and you guys can see that one was flat black this one is more of a natural table it doesn't have like wood grain sculpted in it or anything it is just a flat table it doesn't really have the black rim around it it does have the black underside which is nice to see but it's not like a regular ringside exclusive table or a Mattel table I think the ringside exclusive tables are my favorite I do like the size of this but I like that this one has wood grain and I like that this one has three pieces instead of the two that Jazzwares gives you right there and I'm just knocking shish over. You guys can see there's a split in the middle to, of course, put somebody through it, which we will do now. That's pretty cool. I like that. like all the good things going on with it. And all you got to do is place it back together. I feel like it's a lot more sturdy than other tables. You know, I think it just kind of depends, but there's plenty of space for guys to stand on top of it and get power bomb through it. Like, I, I think you get plenty of playability with that. I think a, a couple, like, if this broke into four or five pieces, I think it would be more accurate. Because, you know, when you go through the table, it's not going to just split in half like this, right? It's going to be in multiple pieces, so... I'd say at least three, maybe four pieces would be pretty cool, but I still like the accessory a lot. And then the last accessory that you get is going to be this brand new folding ladder. Now, I don't think we've seen a folding ladder with the AEW figures before, but you do get the nice gold trim. It's got the black color. This is the same ladder that you guys see back here. And I feel like it may be a bit short, but I don't know. I, I could be wrong about that as well. Let's go ahead and scale it with the Kenny Omega just to see, you know, how this looks. I just feel like it's very, I, I don't know. Mattel does that too, though. I feel like, you know, some of the accessories are bit too short sometimes and I feel like that may be the case here. I really like the ringside exclusive ladders. A lot of people say those are too big but I'd rather it be a little bit too big than a little bit small because then it just kind of looks laughable. But you you guys know you know they climb the ladder they get the deal going you know you put your hands up here and I, I don't know I just think that on top of the ladder I guess it's not that bad. I know it's, it's kind of hard for you guys to see I'll have to raise it up a little bit but I just feel like it's a little bit short. I don't I don't know. So here you guys can see. I still don't have it. Like, you know, he's, he's pretty tall up there. But if he had a table right here, I just don't know. Is that big enough gap? Is that accurate? I, I guess it's good for just a, like a short little deal. But I think I would like to see more accessories here. But you can spread that out right there. You know, get the stabilization for the ladder. But I still like it a lot. I still think it's a great pack. And I still like that, you know, we're getting packs like this from AEW to expand the figure collections and the displays and stuff. But that is your AEW weapons pack or action pack they call it i think my favorite pieces are the barrel and the table but i still think it's a pretty nice pack guys if you guys enjoy this set and you want to pick this up go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there i think it's a great pack i think some of the accessories are lacking but overall i still like it and i think it's pretty cheap and it's a good way to add some weapons to your collection if you're missing it i don't think it's as nice and as broad as the barbed wire action pack that we got not too long ago but i still think it's worth the grab and i think you guys should go check it out so that is going to do it for this review man thank you guys so very much for 
for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the height of that ladder.